at Shane Stars at DroidModerX.com, and as many of you have probably heard by now, 4.2 has been released. It is official. Uh, it's going over the air to lots of devices, the Nexus 10, the Nexus 4, the Galaxy Nexus on GSM carriers, and also the Nexus 7 is getting it today. Uh, as for Verizon, Galaxy Nexus phones, probably won't see it for two or three months. Um, but anyways guys, if you are on the Nexus 7, I'm going to show you guys how to quickly and easily install the latest build of Android 4.2. Now this will work if you are running a custom recovery. Um, obviously if you're pure stock and you have stock recovery, you can just go to About Tablet and then check for updates and it should be there. If it's not there, it will be there very quickly. Um, and if it's not there, you can just download the update.zip and flash via stock recovery. But this is for you guys that are running a custom ROM. So no matter what custom ROM you're on, you will be able to flash this stock-rooted uh, version of 4.2. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and boot into custom recovery. So we'll just power down the Nexus 7. So as soon as it turns off, we're just going to hit uh, both volume rockers and power at the same time to bring up the bootloader. Okay, and then we're going to scroll to recovery mode and hit the power button to boot into uh, Team Win Recovery Project is what I'm running currently. But you can also do this with Clockwork Mod Recovery. So what you want to do is head to the link in the description and grab the, I believe it's JC, here, let me show you. It's uh, J0P40C, that's 4.2 for the Nexus 7. Uh, so first we want to go back and wipe everything, so we'll wipe factory reset. That would be wipe data in Clockwork Mod Recovery, so we'll just swipe to wipe. We'll wipe cache, Dalvik cache, and then we'll install the ROM. So let's go back and install the J0P40C and swipe to flash. In case you guys are wondering, I got some new digs, brand new desk, a new tripod. Uh, so hopefully, these videos can get better and better. So we'll give this a few minutes to flash. It could take up to five minutes. And as soon as it finishes flashing, we will boot into 4.2 and I'll show you guys some of the new features. Okay, so when it's finished, you will see this screen that says that uh, the flash was successful. We'll go ahead and reboot the system. Okay, so if you guys saw that, it kind of looked like it was in a boot loop. It brought up the Google screen with the unlock and then uh, that went away and then the Google screen came back for a few seconds and then the boot animation appeared. Uh, so it kind of seemed like it was boot looping there, but it's not doing that. It's just updating to a newer build. Uh, also, it is, uh, also we did wipe data, so it will take a whole lot longer to boot up. So be patient. Give it, you know, five to ten minutes if you need to walk away. Okay, guys, so I'm all signed in. Setup is complete. And I'm going to walk you guys through some of the new features in 4.2. So in the tablet or on the tablet UI, uh, we do have multiple users. So from the lock screen, we can actually add users. Uh, so here is one user. If we wanted to add a user, we just come up here and add a user. And I'm gonna do that right now. So now you can see there at the bottom, uh, we have a couple of users there. Uh, the lock screen is totally different. You can see a new clock widget with new fonts. It's still Roboto, but it is a little different. Uh, if we click that clock, we can unlock there, and that gives us our new clock app. So we have our stopwatch, and we have, of course, the clock, and we have the timer. We can set up alarms here as well, just like with the standard clock application. So another cool feature from the lock screen that we have is that we can add widgets. So if I scroll over, I can actually add a widget here. Uh, for now, we have the, uh, the default is calendar, Gmail, clock, and sound search. Um, more will be added as soon as developers have their chance to work the AOSP. They'll be able to add widgets for their apps for the lock screen. But for now, we just have a couple of apps. So if I wanted to add the calendar, I could add that. And it just kind of adds it in like a carousel. Um, and then, of course, if you turn it this way, it looks even better. You have your carousel here. You can add, I think, up to three widgets to the lock screen, which is neat. Maybe we can go one more. Yeah, okay, so we can add all four widgets to the lock screen.
and then we can unlock as usual. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pull up the keyboard so you guys can see the new keyboard. Okay, so as you can see, it has this new swipe feature, uh, which is really neat. And it'll just kind of guess the word and then put it there. Uh, so as you let go, it'll insert the word. So I'm not really typing anything, but you guys can kind of see how it works. If we did like, uh, we'll just go test, like so, and elephant, like so. Uh, you guys get the picture. Uh, so it's kind of taking some of the ideas from swipe, but just really giving, giving it that Google swag. Okay, and then I'll show you guys Gmail. So with Gmail, you can now swipe to delete, like so. Of course, I cannot show you guys Photosphere on the tablet uh, because we don't have a camera application, as you guys see. That's not included in the Nexus 7. Um, as you can see, it's very fluid, very fast. So guys, there's plenty more to 4.2 for Android devices. And of course, we'll get into those new features later. But I just wanted to show you guys a quick and easy way to update to 4.2 uh, coming from any ROM using a custom recovery. So guys, if this has helped you in any way, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Click the subscribe button right about there. And uh, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.